Okay, um, what we're doing here is a spring update 2013. So, what's happening? And, uh, I guess I'll just sum it up. The grass I do have is growing. I gotta clean the yard up. As you can see right there, I kind of have a parking space for this mower. Because I, um, moved all the fence out of the way. I'm going to cut that up and start bringing it bit by bit down to the curb each week. Twice a week. This grass is actually growing pretty nicely since I'm not really touching it except mowing every once in a while. These little spots here are pretty bad because the, this is where the dogs come out off the deck and piss and shit everywhere so I'm going to have to get some stuff to take care of that once I clean up the rest of this yard. I'm going to repair this spot, probably going to put some, sorry for the wind, but uh, put some over these spots over here, basically get the lawn back, get this pile of wood out of here, get the rest of these damn toys out of here, that I've outgrown like way over, I don't know, like 10 years ago. But, um, here's the uh, get grass cutting tractor. As you can see, I've started reassembling it. I did that back in uh, November, just before, or no, uh, October before uh, Hurricane Sandy hit, and then I had to keep it under a tarp the whole winter. Because after that, it was too cold to paint anything. And I ran out of silver paint uh, while I was painting up the fenders here, and I had some trouble getting the paint even. I still am. You can kind of see it's blotches everywhere. And I'm going to let this coat dry and then I'll sand it tomorrow maybe. But yeah, um, I guess I'll get an update on that. Uh, looks like i got to clean this up a bit. But even under the tarp it got pretty dirty and some spots start, uh, rust started to emerge again. So i got to get some better paint than the Walmart shit. There's the Briggs twin as it sat since October missing the starter I took that out because I wanted to check out the uh, bearings in it I never managed to get the gear off because it's a roll pin style I'm thinking about just getting a, a brand new starter uh, I'm going to paint that too, the exhaust is pretty rusty you know so yeah um, the air filter looks okay. I might do an oil change, although the oil doesn't look too bad. I did just change it a year ago. Yeah, it looks kind of dirty. Should probably clean it again. Probably never had its oil changed, uh, since like, I don't know, a couple years or seasons before we got it. I do want to get it running sometime soon. Uh, all the repainting of this rusty stuff looks a lot better than that orange. I'll tell you what. It may not be a very professional job, but I wasn't really looking for professional. Just something to get rid of the rust I have, and then maybe one day when I really have feel like spending more time and money, I'll I'll strip it down again and actually do it correctly. I actually am starting to do it properly when it comes to the silver paint, and that's simply because I really that's basically the outside of the whole thing, and I don't want that messed up. Everything steers pretty good, at least without that 90 to 100 pounds of weight on it. The clutch so far is pretty silent. I like that. You can repaint the stick thing there. The uh, parking brake lever. The Honda mower is uh, doing very nice. I winterized it and I cleaned up all the residue that was left over from gasoline and oil and all that all over the engine oh and 
went just blasting the block and stuff with the uh, carb cleaner, which was a bit of a mistake because I did stain the deck. As you can see, I tried using some steel wool to get that off. I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, I used that to cut the grass over there, and it looks pretty nice. The off-road mower should be. Uh, I did get it running. Uh, I actually did a separate choke, so it works off that. It does work, but it needs some improvement simply because that the bolt there sticks down and it kind of st it sticks on the throttle a little bit. Uh, I actually had to bend it up a bit. When it, when I first started it up, it, it was basically running wide open. Luckily, it didn't rev high enough before I shut it off. I knew exactly what was going on. The transmission is terrible. It does shift better after I took it apart and put it back together to check everything out. It has some bushings that probably need to be replaced because they're copper. And they're basically nothing. The gas pedal still works. Everything's okay. Um, no, I do have plans for it, but it's not on my priority list. The mini bike. Uh, the only thing I really did was I got rid of that adapter. Or I don't actually I don't even think I I did film some video on that, but I, I guess uh, I never uploaded it. But um, I basically drilled out. I uh, tried using some JB weld to plug up the holes that were drilled, and I drilled my own holes. And so it's now per properly lined up. I did have it uh, riding until the um, the master link uh, bent and broke off. So yeah. Uh, I'm still wait. I, I got some parts order, and as you can see, I now have my brakes, uh, which still need a bit of improving. I changed the oil because gasoline got into the oil, uh, and the oil looked pretty green, which I'm guessing my brother used two cycle oil on it before I topped it off, and it runs pretty nice. Uh, I'll get some startup videos after the. Uh, uh, end of this video. Um, there's the generator. We use that to power the house after Hurricane Sandy. And actually, uh, I have covered here. We have a new generator that's more practical. Brand new from Amazon. It's a champion. You'd see it's kind of covered up because we don't have a place to put it. Started it up. It's got remote start and all that. And muffler's getting kind of rusty. I can't really show you that. I don't want to move anything. But yeah, there's our updates.